Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to connect a wired keyboard to your Redmi Note 14. So I'm using the Redmi Note 14 Pro Plus, but the same steps should apply for the other Redmi Note 14 phones. Now first things first, you might need an OTG adapter for you to connect uh, a wired keyboard to your Redmi Note 14. So once you have the OTG adapter, all you have to do is simply grab your keyboard and then connect it to the OTG adapter. And then once you connect it to the adapter, simply plug in the other part to your phone and that will connect your wired keyboard to your Redmi Note 14. So let's just do that. So let me just connect it to the OTG adapter. Then once you connect it, all you have to do is simply plug it in to your Redmi Note 14. So simply plug it in and there you go. As you can see, my keyboard has lit, indicating that it has been successfully connected to your Redmi Note 14. Now, from here, you can simply use your keyboard to suit your needs. But before you can use your keyboard, you might want to know what particular shortcuts that might be needed whenever you are navigating your phone using the keyboard. So to access these keyboard shortcuts, all you have to do is simply go to settings. And then within the settings, scroll down and select access additional settings. Sorry, tap on that. Now within the additional settings, all you have to do is select accessibility. And then tap on the physical section. And then scroll down and find keyboard, mouse and trackpad. So select that. And then first of all, you'll see my keyboard has been connected. So this is my name of the keyboard, Semico USB keyboard. This is it. And then all you have to do is simply scroll down and find the keyboard shortcuts. And then you'll see a list of shortcuts that you can use to, man to use your keyboard on your Redmi Note 14. So if I want to go to home, all I have to do is press, simply press the Windows button and enter. And that will take me home. If you want to access the recent applications, you can simply use the tab option. So you can use uh, Alt and Tab. And that will accent the recent applications. If you want to go back home again, simply press this, the start button and enter, and that will take you home. Now you can use it, you can use this keyboard for your typing. Let's say, for instance, if you are typing something on the website. So let's say, let me launch a particular website. So let's go Google Chrome, or let's go to Google. And then if you want to type in something, simply tap on that the search bar and then type in something. So let's say so as you can see as I'm typing it's automatically uh, doing the thing on the on the on the phone. So let's say if you want to type something so you can select it. So you can say that particular item, so tap on it. Then you can scroll down using the arrow keys. So as you can see, I'm using the arrow keys. So this will scroll down, oh sorry, scroll down through the option. And there you go. You're using your keyboard on your Redmi Note 14. So to go back home, simply press the start button and the enter button that will go back. So press start and enter and that will take you home. So that's basically it on how to use a wired keyboard on your Redmi Note 14. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel.